Hi everyone, uh, so here's a quick example of how we handle the for sale and solds on the Toronto Real Estate Board. Um, so this is me doing a search for properties in Oakville and on our map search there's a few functionalities that we can do. So if we zoom in further into the actual map, the closer we zoom in, uh, we actually start to see prices of properties. Uh, we could also do things like selecting an area specifically, let's say in the Glen Abbey, and if I only want to see properties there, um, your leads have the ability to save this as the search as well. So anytime new properties come in this area, they're automatically emailed to let them know that there's properties out. Uh, what's also pretty cool is you could do uh, solds as well. So let's say I only want to see solds in this area. Um, it'll pull up all the solds that have actually sold here. Um, and then I can narrow them down to I only want to see the last 30 days of solds. Um, in this case, that's what it does. Um, and they can also save this as a search. So when I save this as a search, um, it will essentially only let me know and update me when sold properties come out in that area and what they sold for. Now, all of this is directly connected into our CRM system. So as an example, whatever your leads look at on the website, um, I'm logged in here as auto polygon to email and here is that account. So whatever they do on the website here is automatically logged into the back end. So as an example, let's say I look at this property here, um, just by looking at it, I can go into the CRM. I was active eight minutes ago, but if I reload, I can see that the activity is updated to active just now. And if I click on more details, I can see specifically which property I've looked at. And then also obviously any other property they looked at um, is automatically logged and it's shown whether it's sold or an active property that they're currently looking at. Um, and when the system sends out the actual emails for new listings, uh, it also tracks which emails they've opened. Um, you can actually open up the email to see which listings were sent out um, and you can also see whether they've looked at those listings or not. So that is just some uh, info about how that works. And oh yeah, you can also see the searches they save. So any searches they save uh, to let them know and alert them of new listings, listings, you can see exactly what they are and what the criteria is. So if you click on edit criteria, we can see that they're set up to receive properties that are homes in Oakville and Burlington uh, that are sold between 1.2 and 1.7 million. So that is, I hope you guys get as much as you can from this video. Um, and if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Thanks so much.